Hi, I'm Brian Jones, principal at Milton High School in Milton, Georgia. I'd like to answer some common questions that you might have about making sure to respect and accommodate the needs of our Muslim students, particularly during Ramadan. How does one know when Ramadan is? The start of Ramadan is based on a lunar calendar, and it is about 11 days earlier every year. I find the calendar online included in a comprehensive religious calendar. I also depend on my Muslim students to tell me. For those observing the fast, it is a total fast from dawn to sunset without any water or food. As with any other religion, not all Muslim students observe Ramadan. What accommodations can a school make for Muslim students during the daily lunch break? Muslim students can remain in the classroom or can go to the media center during lunchtime. Some may wish to sit with their non-Muslim friends in the cafeteria. Schools might consider providing spaces for students to gather in and spend time with each other. How can the school support Muslim students who are involved in extracurricular activities? To support students observing Ramadan and who are also involved in extracurricular activities, talk to each student about his or her plan for the observance. What accommodations do you make when Ramadan occurs during a major school event like graduation? When major school functions like graduation occur during Ramadan, we have conversations with the students about how to best accommodate them and still include them in the event. What accommodations do you make for students wishing to perform their daily prayers during school? To accommodate students wishing to pray during school, we identify spaces where the students can meet on a regular basis and make sure it's flexible enough to accommodate the number of students who will attend. What resources are available for staff and faculty to better understand not only Ramadan, but other faith traditions and cultural observances? Here's what we do at Milton to help teachers and faculty better understand not only Ramadan, but other faith traditions and cultural observances. We use resources from organizations like the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta and the Anti-Defamation League as well as colleges and universities with diverse populations. We also have students collaborate when we develop our master calendar so we are able to be aware of significant dates in many faiths and cultures. The bottom line is treating every student with dignity and respect because they really do matter. Plus, diversity is important and making sure everyone feels like they have a place at the table builds community, character, and leaders.